Hey everyone, my name is Miss Elizabeth and I work at the Lovettsville Library. Now, have you ever wondered why on Valentine's Day they always show bows and arrows? Even more importantly, have you wanted to make your own bow and arrow? Well, I'm going to help you with both today. We are, I'm going to tell you a story about the Greek god Cupid and we are going to do a craft to make your very own Cupid's bow. So first of all, the story about the ancient Greek god Cupid. So if you're a fan of Percy Jackson, you already know that thousands of years ago, the ancient Greeks believed in all these gods and goddesses. And so one of them was named in ancient Greece, Eros, and in ancient Rome, Cupid. But he's the same guy. He's normally depicted as a young boy with a bow and arrow. And what he enjoyed doing was making people fall in love because he is the god of love. So what he would do is he would have his little bow and arrow and he would shoot people with a golden tipped arrow and it would make them fall in love. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that this bow and arrow won't make people fall in love, but it's still really fun to make. So for this craft, you're going to need a bowl of water, some string or dental floss, a popsicle stick, a cotton swab, um, an X-Acto knife, and with that, an adult's help, some scissors, a marker, and if you want, some washi tape. So, to start out, you wanna take your popsicle stick and soak it in the bowl of water. Be sure you submerge the stick a couple of times to make sure it gets wet on all sides. And you probably want to leave it to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this is actually really similar to the way ancient Greeks, ancient Romans, all the way up through the Middle Ages, um, how they would make bows and arrows. Because when they soaked a bow in water, that would make it more pliable or make the wood easier to bend. So our next step is where you'll want to have an adult's help. To start, you'll want to mark the notches with your marker. That can be a little, um, just a little triangle there near the top. And you wanna put it on both sides at the top and then turn it around and put it on both sides at the bottom. So once you've marked the popsicle stick, you're gonna to wanna to take your X-Acto knife and go over the marks that you've made. So once you have your notched bow, you're going to want to bend it a little bit. Not bend it so hard that you'll break it, but because you've made it wet, it should bend enough to hold its shape. Just about like that. You can bend it a little more or a little less, whatever your preference is. And the string will help it keep bent. So I recommend having plenty of string or floss for your um, bow. And I recommend making the string about twice as long as the length of the bow. Just so you have plenty of room to knot it. So then you take the string and you wrap it around the bow where the notches are. And you make a knot. Now the string going around the other end of the bow is gonna be a little bit trickier because you're going to want to make sure and pull the um, string nice and taut so it bends the bow, but you don't want to bend the bow so much that it breaks. So you might need an adult's help for this part. When your bow is done, now you can move on to the arrow. So for the arrow, you take your cotton swab and you take all of the cotton off of one of the ends. Now, when you finished your bow and arrow, you might want to take some washi tape and tape it to the front of the bow. And you might wanna pick something that's nice and festive, like I chose these hearts. So with that, here is your very own Cupid's bow and arrow for Valentine's Day. Hope you enjoyed making this craft with me. 
And if you want to access even more cool library resources, you can always visit us at library.loudon.gov. Thanks, and happy Valentine's Day! Thank you.